Good day, Secret Circuit stars. I'm on silent and we're on the air with more Need for Speed Underground 2, episode 37 of NFS YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. Well, last time out, I found a. Uh... Ooh, okay, that's not turning as well as I had hoped. I found a uh, a Secret Circuit race, and I said we were going to give it a try. And by God, that is exactly what we're doing, man. Ooh, we got third. We're gonna get second. Not having any luck to turn in. Start with the Street X. I wonder if the suspension is set up different in Street X than it is for a circuit. Here it's a four and a half mile track. Which apparently goes through downtown, goes through Coal Harbor. And into some dudes in Coal Harbor, apparently, if you're well, we'll just... We got... We, uh... Didn't quite... Pfft. I'm laughing at him, not paying attention to where I'm going. Which is fine. Because we'll just make a recovery here. Yeah, so we're going from downtown into Cold Harbor on this one. We'll try and figure this one out. Because we've got... It's a long... Well, like I said, four and a half miles. That's a long bit of racetrack to... Woo! Come up the... Okay, no, we're gonna go this way. There, There's the shorter route. I wasn't sure if that was the thing or not. Because if you just run into an invisible wall, well... That would have just ended badly for all involved. Fortunately, it looks like we've got the fastest car in a straight line. Which could be advantageous depending on... Take the short route. Well, uh, took the shorter route, but didn't, uh, didn't do a very good job of it. So we're gonna have to get it wound up again. And then it's after this turn is the start finish line. So it should be advantage me ish because we've got two really long straights. Just gets it, it get, tightens it up over that bounce, the curbing in the middle. Now we're having to slow down playing dodge the cars in the rain. My oh my, it's a this is a competitive little battle. Oh, that's just a shitty line. Now that GTI is uh, coming up behind me, but uh, should whoop avoid <laughs> yeah avoid accident whoo he's on his lid spam those turtles in chat for that guy. So everybody just kind of. Coagulate and back together. Every, we've got top three inside a second of each other. Whoop, that was close. Bail out. Crap. I got messed up by that guy. Saw him panicked. Now, this time, this went a lot better. Now, we'll avoid him. We'll tuck in under, I think it's a Hyundai. A Hyundai that we're behind. And again, things are so modified, you can't entirely be entirely sure all the time. Thought the Super was a Celica in the last episode, after all. Now, here's the question, is where's the breaking point? I don't know what my break, what I used as a breaking point there, I just guessed. So we're just gonna try and get in line behind him. Draft on by. So that might be... Woo! That was close. No, no avoided accident for that one, even though I probably scraped some paint off of him. Oh. Okay. Note to self. Use some of the damn nitrous. Now that's how you take that turn. Or learn. Eventually. Woo! Okay, that was a little bit of punt. If <laughs> serves you right. So there was some minor puntage there. GTI kind of got 
scared by the traffic that it was running into. So now, that's everybody's going to try and come back to the right here. Not quite, not quite. Wondering when I get to sniff some draft. Wow, that was a... Uh, yeah, power slides, right? Chunk that. Okay, not a problem. Getting in that boost use. Yeah. Right, we got to be smarter through here. Great, keep it down. Cannot get that turn to save my life. All right, well, we'll be fine here. Shouldn't have held it flat, should have breathed the throttle. But now we are in slipstreaming range. Well, that wasn't quite what I was intending to do. I was planning to stay in line with him a little longer. It'd be nice if I could have stayed in line with him just to see where his breakpoint was for this. That was too soon, that was, again, too soon. That was try and take too deep to compensate. Trying to use some of the boost here to try and well, I was what I was trying to do was slam into him, but that didn't work quite clearly. Didn't go well. Okay, not the best first attempt. So, uh, yeah. Well, it is what it is. We can have another... Let's just take a quick gander at the race stats. Never let a lap. I did not have the top speed. That would be problematic. I had the... I was the slowest car... That, how, when was the last time we saw that happen? Best average speed, slowest top speed. Hey, at least we're doing a good job of driving the thing. Ish. All right. Arm dropping away. We go. Good start for the GTI. I think we might have just gotten clipped by the RX-7 there. Doesn't upset us too much. Dodge some traffic, tap a little brake. Avoid the taxi. Ah, I, I was pulling back down in, I don't know. That's gonna... The problem isn't that we won't be able to catch up, because we should be able to. It will be instead. Can we... Can we do it while holding on to a sufficient amount of boost? Because being in the middle of everyone gives you chances to pass people for position. And like, we've already caught up two seconds already. Uh, slight collision. Okay, this gives us a chance to... Oh, okay, that's why. That one's just... That's... Because even if you go straight to... You're, you're you're in a bad spot there. So let's stop taking that shortcut because that's just a bad shortcut. Yeah. Oh, that's them. I thought it was just traffic because they were catching them up at such a rate. But no. Still can't do that corner. Read the throttle. Nope. Hmm, that's a tricky one to get. I swear I wasn't going to hit that. I think my hitbox is a little bit bigger than... Uh, I think I've expanded my hitbox around the entirety of the car by, with that jumbo-ass wing there. Now that GTI in front of me, I think my catch-up has expired, so now we got to... Let's see if... Whoa, that was close. Yeah, there was a, that was me just freaking out because of traffic in front. I'm just following those red tail lights in front of me. The problem is we're not close enough to quite see. Again, bailing out because of traffic. Not quite in a good position to see where a good braking point would be. Oh, 
I'll squeeze the RX-7 into the wall. And now it's just a Hyundai left. Now, <laughs> gained first. Couldn't avoid the accident for obvious reasons. At that point, it's just like, uh, okay, we've got to pick a direction. Speaking of just picking a direction, that's going to cost us Tom. And the master behind us. Oh, my balls. That uh, transport's fat ass wouldn't get out of the way. How the hell did they get through in one piece? And I don't. Cut to the inside there. At least that turn is normal. So I have an advantage there. Yeah. Man, how's he hold it? I've got better tires than most of them. Now, do I have not have the suspension? I thought I got the suspension. I know I got the tires. Now, we're behind him, so what we're going to do is we're going to sit here and try and round up all the boosts we possibly can for one lap to go. Realizing that, yes, we are, in fact, full on boost. But what I'm more interested in is where does he break? So at that intersection here. Realizing, as yes, I sacrificed a bit of time there, but the idea is, you play the long game. Yeah. Actually, coming around the outside on there actually is a lot better than going on the inside, so. Oh man, that was ugly. That was bowling shoe ugly there. He wasn't turning, so. Oh, my. Let me down! Let's see how good the catch up logic is here. Because uh, whoever is in the GTI, what's his name? So I could call him a dickhead. I was going to call him a dipshit. I couldn't. Alden! That dipshit Alden got in the way. So now, we're riding on our side, we're good. Oh, if you slow down through there, you're fine. Can't take it at full song. Speaking of not being able to take things at full song, here we go back to this turn again. Left, and then it comes back to this annoying right. This long right. Still losing time, but I feel like that's the best I've taken it so far. Kiss the barrier there. Now, we should be in slipstream range of that RX-7. Nope, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. We're getting there. We're there. Crap. That went poorly. Are we gonna lose because of that? Now, we just gotta see how much love the game's gonna show us here, because it ain't gonna be enough. Trying to hold as much speed as I possibly can through there. Oh, we might actually pull this one off! Ha ha! I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Well, was it much of a win, but it was a win, so we got, because it was a secret race, it was 4,000! Fine, come on. Do we bother taking a look at the race stats? Uh, still aren't, they're still the slowest. Best top speed, and we <laughs> improved our position steadily every lap. <laughs> Equal fourth at the start, then third, second, and first. 
my best lap was a 210.18, which still wasn't the fastest lap. It was second fastest next to the, uh, to the Golf the GTI. How about that? And we've moved on to the Bayview International Airport. So it's, there's a URL in the neighborhood uh, right there. But we're at this drag race right there. So I figure we're in the neighborhood. So let's do a drag. Coming at you strong, any Quakers? Right? Oh, we've had that line before. Really? Really? Oh, it's the under construction track. Oh, I like this one. If only for the novelty of it. Good shift, not great shift. Yeah, we're getting perfect shifts here, but... Jump him! Not a good attempt. You gotta come across here, because it's... Yeah, it comes up one way. Does it come up two here? No. Your last 26 21. Second behind the winner. Okay. You and in a lot of Hyundai's. They know something I don't. I was at the fastest, uh, not the fastest top speed, but not the slowest top speed. So, uh, yeah, we just, I think we chunked it on the start and we kind of got to work on that just because it's about like 6,600 that I got to hit. So, that's tricky to hold. Oh, Christ, don't do that. I'm too busy, uh, too busy trying. No, just, Jump cam. There we go, come across there. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. That bad start, not paying attention. Yeah, yeah, another second behind. It's just a matter of paying attention, being, knowing what the hell you're doing, right? I shouldn't say knowing what the hell you're doing. Are you still in drafting range? Oh, he died! I fell, I, I, mm, oh, God damn it! I couldn't come back across. I don't know what the hell happened there. Gabe coasts home. What the shit was that race? Like, I got a couple of good shifts in, but now I have to come back across. So he gives me a draft. And then he bails out of the way. Okay. So he bails. So that gives me a good run. He dies somehow. And that kicks me out into the middle, but it wasn't... It kicked me out into the middle, but I couldn't come back across to the left. I'm hitting left on my controller, and it's not letting me come back across. So I don't know if it just hadn't registered that it kicked me out because I didn't choose to move a lane, so it wasn't letting me come back to the right, or what the deal was. Because we were going to win that race. We should have won that race. Getting beaten and banged around there. Oh, we're getting squeezed up against the wall. This is gonna be... Follow this guy. Oh my goodness, what is going on? It's just chaos and pandemonium. Oh, we won. <laughs> it's chaos and pandemonium the entire way. <laughs> what was that race? What even was that race? 2000 bank zero rep, I'm not surprised. We, we did have the best top speed, because there was a little shot of the boost at the end. Again, let's watch that one. I got the best start, because I had the... And I, I cut across before that little dip there. And I'm trying not to burn through where my shift is. And I got in a good spot here, right? And now everybody's trying to cram into the jump cam. Even in replay, we get jump cam. Everyone's just kind of... It's three wide, and I think we're probably... Yeah, we are four wide at one point there. Because everyone needs their own lane to fight through there. That was probably the most 
didn't feel particularly intense because I'm starting to get the hang of uh, hang of the drag racing. I think the problem with the drag racing wasn't so much the cars; it was me. <laughs> Maybe now I'm starting now. I, now I appreciate the skill required to you know hit your shifts and hit your marks on all of that. But there's still an element of of timing and luck, and, and I think ninety percent of a drag race here I found so, now comes at the start. Having that start, having that good start put us in a position where every other mistake I had could be covered up by the fact that I would have that boost and I would have that draft and I'd be in line with people, so I'd just hang out until it was go time. Almost kind of like a restrictor plate race in NASCAR, you know? It's just that you hang out and someone's draft, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Oh, now it's time to go. Exactly what we're doing there. And we've come downhill to the URL. Actually, that last race, winning that last race... 14th one, okay, makes sense. When that last race unlocked a second URL, so we've got this one here that was unlocked first that we saw before, and then we got this one over here. So we're just unlocking URLs left, right, und center. Which is fine. URLs are fun. But yeah, oh, we also got mail. Carbon kit. The hottest upgrade to ever hit Bayview carbon kit process now in stock at all Bayview body shops. Be the first in your crew to carbonize your kit. That actually might be important for getting the getting the uh, ten to ten ten stars. Yeah, ten stars. <sighs> it's gonna be all. Uh, it's gonna be time time intensive and cost in intensive and throw a few other intensives in there as well. So we're going to do this URL here at the airport. I like airport URLs. This is gonna be an interesting one. A little bit of rhythm section. The long, long, long straight there. Just got to get a good exit into the rhythm. I guess you got to get a good dive into the rhythm section, but a good exit into the highway. That's the probably going to be the key. Top speed. Well, we're starting mid pack, which is always good. Now, last time we did a URL. Not the best start. Last time we did a URL, we were stuck behind somebody who couldn't drive. Oh, we're going in the opposite direction of what I thought we were doing. He hit the barrier. I'm about to follow him. So actually, that's interesting because that's because of the way the rhythm section is designed. That's not really we're gonna try and bump draft the Subaru. And get a lot of boost while doing so. Because, yeah, because coming out of that last, that turn that we just went through, that was more of a hairpin type turn. Which would make for a very interesting run up the, uh, run up the main straight. Oh, that's a, that, it looks like it's a 90, but that just, that is, feels so tight. And that Scooby and I are we're destined to fight forever, aren't we? But this, because of the way the rest of the rhythm section goes, that's just flat, and it's just it's just flat, flat, flat the whole way along. Now, here's the thing: so where do we make up the time? We're making up a bit of time here. Don't get me wrong. Now, where's the breaking five? Five's a good one. Because we made up a lot of time on the breaking there. We're gonna hold, try and hold station behind the golf, but he kept. I'm slowing down. I was off throttle most of the time that I was in him, and I don't think he had ever. I think he had stayed off throttle as well. So the problem becomes is that you're trying to fight over real estate, but he didn't want to take it, and I was giving it to him. Now, take a wide line through there. Try and wind it up. Now, when does slipstream kick in? We're in four, side three tenths. You gotta be inside a quarter second to get a sniff of draft. And that was break at the five again, and we caught right up to the Mustang. A little tap from the Scooby. Alright. We're. 
Yeah, I, I wasn't sure about that. I tapped the brake there just to stabilize the car. Take first. I'll just whoa. A little skid there, and just hold. Cut it down. All right. There we go. Got ourselves a bit of a lead here. Everybody's kind of spread out there. Now we all break it to five. No draft or anything, so. That was pretty well taken there. Get out to the outside there. Off the gas. Through there. Dump the boost. There we go. He came out of nowhere. Like an RKO, he just came out of nowhere. But we'll take the win. Full points over Nigel and the Mustang. There's a guy named Nigel doing in the Mustang. Just want to take a, as usual, quick look at the race stats. Oh, not the fastest car. That would be the Golf GTI. Those are fast lap. 45.89. Oh, the golf is the 42s, excuse me. You're the only... Other than that, we're the only one in the 45, so... Alright, let's do race and dose. Once again, we're starting that same spot. We'll see if we can't get a better start this time. Try not to bog it down on them. That's a little better, just hold it wide open. Where's the... Wah! I got turned there. I didn't catch the number who did that, but... We'll send them packing before long. Oh, okay. Uh, it's... Oh! Somebody died! I died! That was the Mustang. Nigel. Nigel and I are... are, are busy crashing into each other. And he's very concerned about protecting his inside line, so he... Crashed a bit there. All right, yeah, let's see. No, no break of the floor. That was. What sort of lap was that? The start of that was just diabolical. Break at the two. Got it loaded up nice though. Alright, there we go. Not not so good through that section. A little tighter than I was expecting. We should be. Now let's see, this part could be tricky. Oops. Break at the three. That's not quite enough. Oh, somebody's around and into me. People dying. Stefan. Stefan crashed there. Break at the two and a half, but that was way too soon. Clip the curb. That'll be fine. Let off the gas there. Oh man, that just doesn't want to come back around to the left. Now. Let's try and figure out what the hell we're going to do to catch up. We're not going to get any draft for a while, because we got to be within a quarter second for draft to activate. Fortunately, break three. Nice clip of the curb. Oh, idiot. All right. Oh, there's a little bump draft that'll help. So 43 and a bit. Break just past the two. Here's the tricky part. There we go. We'll burn through that entire bar of boost there. That's not going to be enough. We're going to have to burn some more. Hope these guys crash into each other. Well, somebody went around. We're going to finish behind Nigel. Which is not what you wanted to do. I think we might just have a three-way tie at the top. I don't know where Mateo finished in the first one. Nope, we're going to only have a two-way tie at the top. 
Oh, that's all you need. <laughs> count back. Count back. I'm... So we, so I win on count back. I had to win, and Nige didn't. The key to winning a Winston Cup championship is consistency. The problem is this isn't a Winston Cup championship. This is a URL, so wins matter. Slowly improved over the course of the race. Do we have the fast lap at 41? 40, uh, 41.7 versus uh, 41.3. Almost there. Again, not quite. They ought to see if there's the uh, any other uh, suspension upgrades. Bayview performance for us. Might need it. You know what? Take practicality and throw it out the window. The performance shop will tweak your ride to get the most horses and torque you need. Alright, well then let's see if we've got... Now, transmission is where you That was what I was looking for. Powers. Tighten your ride and get rid of that stock suspension for firm hold and grip. Okay, so I, did, I didn't have the extreme package, but I feel like I need that. So we get Bilston HP HR Coney 2012. I Eibach. Is that? Oh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, who we want? H and R. I don't think we've done H and R Springs before. Let's do H and R Springs there. So that's some good handling happening as well. And just out of curiosity, brakes. You know, going fast needs to be balanced with stopping fast. Throw a brake kit on stop just as fast as you get going. Yeah, I think we bought all the. Yeah. Put your car on a diet. Less weight means more speed. It's as simple as that. We got that one. I, I, th I assume we got the tires first. Now power needs somewhere to go, so slam on some new rubber on your rims for the ultimate grip. Okay, we're probably doing okay then. Amplify your power band by bolting on a turbo. Yeah, we did that too. No, I think we're okay then for now. I mean, the transmission's probably the last piece we... Horsepower equals speed, so bolt on everything you can. Right here is the place to do it. Upgrade the brains of your ride by swapping out the stock computer with a super chip. So it's just the transmission we haven't done yet. And we've done the six-speed transmission, but we'll be fine for now. And one car swap and drive later. Making up for the last one where we uh, didn't have... Our, <clears throat> no, we didn't do the uh, URL. Not the URL, dra drift. So we're good. <laughs> I think we found the mother of all drift tracks. A parquet drift, I do believe this one is. So let's get this party started. The drift boy, and you get to chant and get a chance to prove yourself right. You know the drill. Yes, I do. Go slideways and sideways as best you can. And now, fortunately, we are starting shotgun on the field. We gotta let them have a little bit of a head start. Arm drop it away, they go! And we're going to unleash from that spot there. Alright. Get that one sideways. Oh! There's travel. Just gonna get that going again. Held on to that one. That was oh god, there's two Steves. Of course there is. Come on, video game, you couldn't have programmed like, hmm, there's already one Steve in this in this race. Maybe we should program a different name. Like Dave or Scott. I remember in high school. I was gonna say, well, I've told you. I was gonna say, I've told the Brian story at some point. How in elementary school, the one there's one teacher who kept calling me Brian, despite the fact that there was another Brian who was about like a foot shorter than me and much blonder than I is. Not saying he wasn't smart, but I'm just saying no. Like he, his hair was literally blonde, mine was literally not. So, so, so it always confused me. It's like if we looked similar-ish, maybe. But we don't, so it's like... But no, it's, there's a... Dave. And uh, in high school, there's... I got... I got Dave. There was another... Da there was a Dave in high school. Did we look alike? Eh. 
I didn't think so, he didn't think so, other people thought, well, you know, you're kind of similar-ish builds. I was a little more heavyset than, uh, okay, a little lot more heavyset than he was. Um, but we both had, we were both, you know, you know, average built white guys with, you know, glasses and his hair was a lot darker than mine, but still, it was close enough that I, I, I wasn't going to... I wasn't going to be like, how the hell do you make that mistake? Oops. Whoa, that was close. We started in last, and now it's like everybody's... We're getting past everyone while they're busy crashing. It's the wet, uh, the wet tarmac not agreeing with them. There we go. Okay, drift coming down there. I'm talking, I'm not even really concentrating on this, right? I'm just out having a Sunday drive. And then Scott. I noticed it first when I was doing a summer job. Like, I didn't... There must have been another Scott working somewhere in the building because it was a big... It was a big building, like, we occupy, like, the, we are, are that summer job, I, it, we had, were in, like, the biggest building in town, so we occupied a few floors of it. And I forget how many hundred employees we had. They were probably the town's second biggest employer. But it was still, like... And I don't know why I got Scott, but I got Scott. And that was something that... Oop. That's something that seems to have... Like, that might... Maybe it was just, like, a... Um, stri not Streisand effect. What's the... Effect? There is an actual condition for it, where it's like... Maybe it's happened a bunch of times before, and you didn't realize it until... You first realized it, and then now it seemed to be happening all, all of the time. Like, you know, it's like, you know... I've never heard that word until today, and then that word never... You know, that word seems to come up in, like, every conversation for the next, like, week thereafter. You know, that sort of thing. But I never got Scott until I did this one summer job, and then all of a sudden I feel like people were calling me Scott instead of Steve a lot. Which is interesting. Because a couple of years down the road, I met a Scott who's a friend of mine now. Like not a Scotsman, like a person named Scott. Bonded over junior hockey and sci-fi and stuff, so... It's despite the fact that I come from a small town, he's like, Oh, yeah, so you're, uh, this fan. Oh, shit, you've actually... You've actually paid attention to OHL. He said, yeah, well, I'm from Kitchener, so... Yeah. <laughs> That was a fun year, because uh, both of our teams ended up in uh, the OHL Finals against each other, and it's like... Yeah, his, his boys were definitely the better team that year. It wasn't even close. Just wanted to see if I could cross the line. Yay, we crossed the line! It's not often we get to cross the line anymore on these drifts. One by almost 60,000. Well, 54, but still. No, 56. 56, sorry. I was subtracting again. I was subtracting the six from the, the two from the six, and I was just like, uh, no, you're going backwards. Only 256 is only worth 200 rep. If I had gotten an extra 4,000, I probably would have been fine. Just out of curiosity and race sets, we, yeah. Locked in on that 70. It's like, I think because we get that higher top speed, we're probably, it probably is advantageous to us. Wow, we actually had a decent fast lap. 146 versus a 139, okay. Wow, second fastest lap in a drift. I had a fast lap in a drift. What is that? So, we've done... Let's go back to here. We've done a URL, we've done a drag, a drift. We've done a circuit. We haven't done a sprint or street X. But I figure, the sprint is probably closer to a circuit and a URL than the street X, so I just figure based on that, let's do the street X here. 
just uh, just for I don't want to say different because there's still well there's still four of those left. Actually, how many are, are left of each? There's still four circuits, two two drags. Wow. Okay, and there's still those three drifts. One, two, three. Oh, there's there's still five of those sprints and four circuits in the one URL. So we gotta get uh, we gotta get doing some of those uh, some of those sprints. I gotta do some of those sprints. We'll do a couple sprints the next time on NFSU too. But let's uh, let's do ourselves the uh, Street X. I like doing those. They're fun races. And we're going we're going old school back to the back to the uh, docks, the industrial yard. So we keep saying we done that layout. We just I think we literally just did that layout. In the last Street X that we did, so... But I think we did it anti-clockwise that time, so I'd imagine we're going to do clockwise this time. This is like... Remember, because this is like the top of the hill. And then you just kind of fall down all the way till you get to there. Double left, then hairpin there, and then back up the hill, so... Alright, let's do it! So, let's see. Oh, am I running in the... Oops, I've not tried this in the Mazda before. I forgot to switch cars. Um, I was right about one thing. We are running this in a clockwise direction. I was gonna say I've done absolutely no handling modifications to the to the RX-7, which is problematic when you're sent backwards. I've not built this car for this. So this is this is fun. Just trying to figure. Well, how do you drive this thing? How do you drive this thing at a, at a street X? Because I've not done that before. Oops. That was going well right up until I hit the barrier. So we got two laps to figure it out. See if this is viable. I'm inclined to say probably not, but because I haven't put any of the money into any of the handling gimmicks. Just a kiss off the wall there. The back end is surprisingly well behaved, considering that you know we're used to sliding the back end around by just looking at the steering wheel. And then I say that as I get the back end around. I'm overcooking it at the top of the hill. Top of the hill is the critical point of the track. I don't think... I don't think this was the right car to go with. I mean, it could just be because... Yeah, now we're losing time here. Yeah, it's because we don't put any money into any of the handling stuff, so it doesn't help. It's because I just take a quick gander at the race stats. We're not even the fastest because we don't have any grip. My best lap was a 28.30, which is the slowest of the bun. Oh, no. Winner was slower. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might need to make a quick change of vehicle. All right, let's try that again, but with the correct vehicle this time. Well, it could still be challenging, but at least I have handling mods on this one, so. Bogged down a little on the start, but that seems to. That seems to work out fine. Oh. I took a wide line into T1 just because I was concerned about the eventual wreck. Yeah. There we go, we survived lap one. And that's the nice thing about that cutout is it really does impact your line through there. You've really got to be smart about how you take T1 just because of that. Actually. Really, last turn and into T1, it's a great sequence because you really want to wind the car up coming out of the last turn, but you realize you've got to get it low down instantly for turn one. 
It's a clever design, just a little trick of the layout. There we go, nice exit there. Breathe the throttle, that was perfect. Just nailing everything here. Finally picking up some speed here. Just missed the dirt there. Got a little rotation off the throttle there. Bring it down. Ooh, that was close because we got a little. I just got onto one wheel there. But managed to woe it up and pull it back in line. Oh, he beat a skyline too. Never mind. It's fun what happens when you don't have to fight a Miata. 200 rep to 1000 bank. Making money back fast, so. Yeah, oh, they a lot more top speed in this thing than the. Uh, just because, again, it's the handling thing. 2338. We just picked up time on every lap. Yeah, nobody else dipped into the 23s. It's just, again, it's picking up speed and picking up speed. And we were in the 23s twice. 24-2 is my third fastest lap. And they they couldn't touch me. I had the fastest lap on the first lap. And I was just going faster and faster. They couldn't touch me. This thing is it's built for handling. And that's, that's why, you know, you go with this instead of the Mazda. Because the Mazda is not built for this type of racing. And it showed. And this it showed here. This one is built for this racing. There are some guys from Finland's GTI magazine checking out the race. Sounds like a photo shoot in the making. Hey, we got a special event as well. All right. Yeah, it's just around the corner. So what have we got? We got to do some some sprints in the next one. We got another URL we could do. We could do a... Sp yeah, we could do a URL. We could do a special event as well. So we've got lots of options of things to do. As we progress through, how far? How, no, that wasn't the one I was looking for. So, 16 of 35, so almost halfway through this segment of, uh, of Need for Speed Underground 2. I want, there's got to be something after this. Like, we've unlocked the entire track, but I feel like there's got to be like a showdown race or a challenge series or something, right? I just feel like that's sort of, that's logically got to be the, oops, don't hit the wall, Steve. It's logically kind of got to be, there's got to be a boss battle type thing to wrap up on, right? But I could be wrong. We got that one? Yeah, we did. All right. Nope. We're fine. Just make sure I'm not missing anything on the map. Where are these San Jose street tracks there? But we will... We will do some circuits and special events next time on Need for Speed Underground 2. Let's, oh yeah, sorry, I forgot that. GTI is... I knew it was going to be that the text message was going to be... was going to be about the same thing Rachel called about, so I didn't even check it, sorry. But let's clear that one off right there, yeah. So we're going to be on the cover of GTI Magazine next time on Need for Speed Underground 2. But until then, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is on silent on air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Don't forget you can check out more Need for Speed Underground 2 in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below. And more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time. I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.